Hello everyone, and welcome to this first episode of our new Print Lab webinar series. This new video format will be dedicated to the large format printing applications. And today, we are going to speak about backlit printing. I am Arno Fabre, Product Manager at Caldera, and today I am delighted to welcome Victor Lazeri, Business Developer at Barbieri. Hello, Victor. Hello, Arno, and thank you for the invitation to this webinar series. To start with, can you explain to us what backlit printing actually is? Backlit refers to the type of media used to be seen through light boxes. In these applications, the media is illuminated from the back, so it basically is a light transmitted through the media that reveals the color of the print. Different types of media can be used for backlit, and they all have the ability to diffuse light. We can list a few of them. Textiles and cutted fabrics, PVC banners, rigid plexiglass, papers, self adhesive vinyl. These substrates can be used in many different applications, letters and illuminated signs, like supermarket signs, advertising at the point of sale, posters in bus stops, and other light boxes. Backlit printing is very popular in wide format printing, simply because it offers many advantages for the customer. First, it offers better visibility by night and in reduced lighting environments. Then it catches the attention more easily thanks to vibrant colors. And also, it is possible to renew a print campaign regularly by easily changing the print without changing the light boxes. So, backlit applications can be a profitable and attractive solution for customers' advertising campaigns. Talking about production, Arnaud, is backlit printing as easy as conventional wide format printing. Indeed, Victor, we are going to see during this webinar that printing on backlit media brings some difficulties. First, from an energy point of view, displaying backlit prints means more power consumption, comparing to non-illuminated prints. Also, color rendering is not acceptable without bright lighting. Of course, nowadays, we have some methods to limit these problems, such as night and day, which make it possible to display two different images layered in the same print. From a technical perspective, backlit printing involves more complex color management and more money since you will need more ink. Finally, depending on the hanging method, backlit printing requires more attention when it comes to file preparation and finishing. So today, we will focus on two pitfalls of backlit paintings and how to get rid of them using the right software and hardware solutions. Let's start with file preparation. Backlit applications such as light boxes require special attention during the finishing process in order to get good results. When using non-woven substrates, lamination may be necessary to protect the ink from scratches. The print can also be wedged between two plexiglasses to protect it. The print can also be fixed on the edges and stretched. For this, you can use grommets, Velcro, or sewed silicon stripes. This last kind of hanging method requires additional margins bleed, and marks to be added in the file before printing. Indeed, the print must be stretched and maintained in an aluminum profile, which contains the LED lights. Usually, using a silicon stripe guarantees your substrate will stay in place within the frame. These stripes also ease installation and replacement of the print while keeping the same box structure. So it is crucial to prepare the file correctly during the pre-press stage, 
to snap the stripe before sewing. Depending on your workflow and machines, it will also be necessary to add the appropriate cutting marks for your cutting device. Adding marks, print bleed, and margins could be done during the file design. But most of the time, the designer doesn't even know about this requirement. And even if it's done in-house, modifications take time and prevent the prepress operator from focusing on what really matters. On top of that, all files have different dimensions, and each one of your jobs is unique. So to summarize, all the manipulation before sending the file to production encourage manual errors and slow down the production. Arnaud, are there solutions to ease backlit printing? Definitely, Victor. Rather than adding these finishing marks manually from a design software, we can use Prime Center or Caldera Rip to automate this process. Here, for example, Prime Center is set up to generate a 20 mm bleed all around the image to print. Internal frame is also printed at a specific distance from the edge of the document to ease the sewing of a silicon stripe after printing. Besides, we can add cut marks and barcodes to automate the cutting process with specific devices. Then, you can save all these parameters in a single recipe to automate the production and avoid human errors. If needed, we could also duplicate the recipe and create different workflows depending on the substrate or the printer to use at the production level. Using the right software during the prepress stage makes job preparation easier for all backlit applications. Can you tell us a little bit about over-inking issues? Indeed, over-inking is a common pitfall in backlit printing. Unlike other large format applications, the amount of ink printed on backlit media is usually higher. Let me demonstrate it with a simple example. This picture has been printed for a standard display, like a poster or a banner. Overall, the color rendering is pretty good, since it's the media that reflects the light. Let's take the same print and install it in a light box. We notice that the image loses contrast and that the colors look dull and faded since the light goes through the media and the inks. The only way to compensate for this loss of intensity is to increase the amount of ink. It can be done by setting a higher print resolution and more passes, which can lead to overinking problems and poor colorimetry. On top of that, you need to remember that even the slightest printing flow will be highlighted. Solving overinking issues is all about calibration before creating your color profile. But let's start with a little bit of terminology. When we talk about calibration for a wide format printer, it means making it stable and capable of reproducing your designs. Calibrating a printer means cleaning and aligning the print head, printing a nozzle check, and defining the amount of ink to print on the media, thanks to a linearization and ink limitation stage. Characterization is a stage of creating an ICC profile, which allows you to print the right colors. As you can see, the characterization stage is happening after the calibration. So obviously, a bad calibration will lead to a bad characterization. To summarize, we have two main steps when creating a color profile for a printer and media combination. The calibration and the characterization. And inking issues must be resolved during the calibration step. For backlit applications, some print operators are tempted to increase the amount of ink after calibration to gain contrast. Some printers even have a double strike feature for that. By doing so, they no longer have control over the colorimetry since the profile hasn't been made for the real backlight condition. 
Luckily, a solution exists to calibrate backlit media in transmissive mode. This technology is included in the total color spectrophotometer that you can combine with Caldera's calibration module, Easy Media. Victor, can you tell us more about your unique transmissive measurement technology? Sure, Arno. The Total Color QB device is designed to measure different substrates and backlit material based upon two of many Barbieri core technologies. The integrated transmission unit for backlit material and the variable measurement aperture. The Total Color QB is equipped with a light source in the bottom of the device, means it is capable to measure backlit material by providing the illumination source on the backside of the material and capture the spectral values in the, on the front side of the material. Let's see how this actually works. Light boxes are not uniform and use a variety of lightning technologies. We found that a stable and single point calibrated and stabilized light source needs to be used to illuminate through the material and the sample to be measured needs to be moved over it. Thanks to our experienced R&D department, we were able to analyze the challenges and find the right solution. The Total Color QB automated spectrophotometer with integrated transmission unit, a fixed and calibrated transmission light source ensures a constant illumination and the motorized stable guarantees automation and high accuracy on positioning at the center of the patches. Another core technology to measure different substrates is the variable measurement aperture. In order to measure different materials with different structures and characteristics, it is important to change the measurement aperture according to the application. For instance, materials with even surface and high resolution prints can be measured with a small aperture so that many patches can fit on one single page for easier handling. Structured material and surfaces like woven backlit substrates require a larger aperture and larger patches to reach the highest level of accuracy. By using a motor-driven optical zoom, the aperture size can be adapted automatically from 2 to 8 mm aperture. Therefore, this single instrument can be used to accurately measure a variety of different digitally printed materials to get the most accurate results every day. Thanks a lot, Victor, for this useful explanation. Combining our two technologies, we ensure vibrant colors and print consistency while avoiding over-inking issues. During this first Print Lab webinar, we have run through two pitfalls of backlit printing and their pragmatic solution. But since every scenario is different, do not hesitate to reproduce and experiment in your print shop. We are proud to stand by you and help you to get your business on rock-solid foundations. Thank you, Victor and Barberi, for your unique and wonderful hardware. Thank you, Arno. It was a pleasure to share our knowledge with you. By combining the right hardware with the right software in your print shop, you will be able to overcome the most common issues that can be encountered and make your business way more sustainable. Stay tuned for more print lab topics. In the meantime, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write in the chat. We will be happy to answer. Them.